How big of a deal is this? Will people be watching TV and be like, hmm, we're bored, let's turn to games? Uh, potentially a very big deal. This is starting as a, as a test. They're going to roll out, I think, you know, a few games on the service in the next 12 months. They just uh, hired an executive from Facebook who also previously worked at the, the gaming company Electronic Arts to take charge of game development at the company. You know, Netflix, exe Netflix ex executives excuse me, uh, have made pretty clear in the past couple years that they see gaming as a threat for attention and entertainment time. They've cited the game Fortnite as, as a competitive threat. And I think they're trying to see if there's a way for them to put gaming into the service, uh, both to attract additional customers and, to your point, if you are watching something and then you want to play a game or you're playing a game and then you want to watch something, you can do it all within the app. I think a lot of people are thinking, oh, this would have been great if they'd done this before before the COVID lockdowns globally, right? But how are they planning to potentially to monetize this? Because we're hearing for now that they won't be charging extra on top of the subscription fee. Yeah, in the immediate, the plan is to, you know, to, to treat games like another genre. You know, you, you get stand-up comedies mm. or musicals or dramas as part of your service. And that's what it's going to be, especially when they're starting with just a couple of games. Uh, you know, I think longer term, of course, Netflix likes to roll out price increases every couple of years in most parts of the world. I think you'll see that continue. And if they need to invest enough in gaming, you know, making games is incredibly expensive. I think you could see, uh, you know, more substantial price increases, but it's way too soon, I think, to, to look at that. It depends on how much success and how much they end up funding these games. It remains an open question how much of this is going to be them sort of licensing their titles to other people to make games, how much they're doing it in-house. And they've already experimented a little bit, you know, with the choose your own adventure format. Uh, and so I'll be curious to see if they continue to do that in conjunction with also making traditional games.